Rewind, brought to you by our friends over at AMC Theaters. We're talking about movies from 10 years ago and 20 years ago. Ashley, do you want to talk about 10 years ago, 20 um, years ago? What do we got? Sure. 16 Blocks, Aquamarine, Ultraviolet, Dave Chappelle's Block Party. And 20 years ago, we had Dawn Periscope, which was Kelsey Grammer. Um, not so great. Up Close and Personal, the Robert Redford, Michelle Pfeiffer vehicle, and the classic Bloodsport <laughs> 2 with Daniel Bernhardt and the late, great Pat Morita. Um, I can say that I never saw Bloodsport 2. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was in limited release, and then it went right to VHS, so uh, where it lives comfortably now. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the one for me, I think that I remember Down Periscope. I mean, when that movie came out, it's, it's one of those silly spoofs. That it's, it's not great. I have no idea in hell what the hell Aquamarine is. Um, as, and I, I don't know what any of these things are, except Dave Chappelle's Block Party. I remember, I can't believe it's 10 years ago. A really mm. cool movie. And that was like when Dave Chappelle was at his height yeah. when he was doing his show. And, and right before that whole thing happened where he just kind of walked away from it all. So I definitely remember that. And then 16 Blocks, I remember being excited for that movie and then being disappointed. So it wasn't a lot of great stuff. I think that out of all these, I would say that Dave Chappelle's Black par Block Party is, is the one. Yeah, right on. For me, it's Ultraviolet. Now, I love Mia, and this film was the very next film that Kurt Wimmer, who had done Equilibrium, right. which had gun, gun oh, Fu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love that movie. Christian Bale, uh -huh. it was like Fahrenheit 451. I, I, that was such a fun, exciting film. I remember, like, it was playing, it was only playing for like one week, Equilibrium. I remember, like, I wasn't even living here yet, but I was working out here, and I was like, I'm going to go see Equilibrium in the theater. And then it was gone the next day. I saw it, and I was like, wow, what a fun film. So Kurt Wimmer went on to make Ultraviolet, which was. I guess kind of pulled away from it. It's supposed to be about vampires in the future and a big blood war. It's a lot of weird effects. Mia's face has got that soft focus, weird gel filter on it the whole time. There's some really cool scenarios in it. There's no blood, even though she's like cutting people with a sword. There's, it was like, we don't know what we're going to do. It should be an R rating, but make it PG-13. So the blood was, was going to be digital and then it wasn't put in. It's a weird film. I can't even really 100% recommend it, but I will say you should see it. <laughs> But it's a, it's a weird film, and then he went on to uh, make. He did. He never directed another film after that. I think. TV, uh, right? Well, yeah, I think he went on to he re, he wrote uh, Point Break, the new Point Break, and the new Total Recall, some of your favorite films. Uh, so I don't know really what happened to Kurt Wimmer, other than you know I loved Equilibrium. So okay, Mark. Uh, it's hard to believe that ten years ago we were at the height of Dave Chappelle's uh, show on Comedy Central. Like Chappelle's show was just such a landmark sketch comedy show, which is why Block Party could get made in the first place. It's like, oh, Dave Chappelle's putting his name on it. Yeah, let's just have a music event in New York, and we'll film it, and we'll release it in theaters. And actually, did a fairly good number opening weekend for what its tiny budget was twenty years ago. Down Periscope. Yeah, <laughs> that's what we got. Down Periscope is a movie that it's legendary in my family because it set the record for most late fees at video update for one <laughs> wow. movie because it was so unmemorable. My brother and I went there to go rent something else. I can't remember what we wanted, probably Independence Day or something, and then yeah. they didn't have it. So we rented Down Periscope Hope, and it was a funny <laughs> return to form of like the spoof comedy for like Naked Gun. And we just were looking at each other during the movie. We're like, this is terrible. Yeah. So it's one of those movies that you had to be careful of when you were renting because if you forget, if you just wash away the fact that you rented this movie, it's just sitting there. My mom found it like a week and a half later. She's like, do we own this? And my brother and I are like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> so it ended up being like $25 in late. You, oh, you want to hear the only thing I know about Down Periscope? Never saw the movie. My friend wrote the render shader for the, for the underwater scenes, way, the way sand would move. Oh, it's pretty exciting, guys. Well, now I got to yeah. rent it again. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, any of these movies? Have you seen any Thankfully, of them? Thankfully, I am just too young enough to have not seen. You weren't around ten years <laughs> ago. I, just, I wasn't around. I was basically a fetus like ten, oh, years, 10 years ago. ago. Yeah. Interesting. All right. <laughs> so uh, weird. Yeah. You know what? I didn't ask you before we move on to mailbag too. We didn't ask you not the whole thought on finding Dory mm -hmm. because we're gonna you guys they can know, watch the trailer review. But what did you what you liked it a lot? I thought it was cute. There's a story there, which yeah. is like kind of I guess your fear going into a movie like this that there's not going to be really a storyline you can see that Dory's trying to find her parents and it does what Pixar does best makes you want to cry and makes you want to laugh and go on at the same time so I hope that it lives up to what I hope for it yeah. to be a good movie you know yeah. it's not going to be a classic see? I, see? it's not going to be a classic yeah, but well it's still a good yeah, movie it's not like totally up. divided yeah. I, mean, I never said I was going to hate it yeah, I just thought it was basically said it was awful uh, no it, you know what I, I said it's deja vu just like Dory gets deja vu yeah. she's like right. did I see this movie again actually it was called Finding Nemo what wait did I see this movie you're supposed actually, to forget it was called that you Finding saw, Nemo you're supposed to forget yeah, that you saw Finding Nemo it's supposed to be something different so it is kind of vice versa
Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.